Can you tell what this image is? This is a cat. What about this? This is a dog. Have you ever wondered how you were able to quickly recognize these images? Yes, this shows the processing power of the brain. To understand the brain, we must understand the concept of neurons. Neurons are information messengers and they use electric impulses and chemical signals to transmit information between different areas of the brain. This also assists us during learning. This is the underlying idea of artificial intelligence. Stay with me as I explain this concept to you. Imagine with me a device that could wake you up at 6 a.m., prepare you a cup of tea, steam your bath water, choose the best music to suit your mood, and make taxi arrangements to take you to work. The term artificial intelligence or AI was initially coined by John McCarthy, who also popularized the idea in 1955 at the conference. However, the idea had already been developed by notable names like Stephen Hawking, Alan Turing, and many others. This was a quote initiated at the conference. Simply put, artificial intelligence will be able to handle tasks that are typically handled by humans and improve itself by solving these problems. Remember how we discussed the brain? AI simply simulates the functionalities and problem-solving abilities of the brain. Many of us imagine AI as taking over all our jobs, but in reality, it has gotten into our daily lives in ways we are not even aware of. It can be seen in how YouTube or Google provide such precise search results or shown in how Facebook and Instagram gives you content around your interest. How about face verification on our phones? This is all AI in works. AI can be classified into two major categories. One, artificial narrow intelligence, which is also known as weak AI. This involves the application of AI to only specific tasks. Example, AlphaGo is a machine trained to play the game Go, but will fail terribly when trying chess. Another common example is Alexa. When you ask Alexa a question like, who is God, it picks out the keywords in the question through a series of programs and acts accordingly to how it has been trained. However, Alexa will fail if you ask it to do a task it hasn't been trained for. Example, what are the possible questions for my forthcoming exams? I dare to bet Alexa wouldn't do so well. There is no general knowledge or self-awareness shown by Alexa. The second category is Artificial General Intelligence, which is also known as Strong AI. This only exists as robots in fiction. Take example Transformers. The robots show a sense of self-awareness. They also have emotions which make their responses unpredictable. Now one will question how about famous robots such as Sophia from Hansen Robotics and Jia Jia by the University of Science and Technology of China. These robots have been developed with the idea of general intelligence, showing the application of natural language processing, speech recognition, but these bots still have particular tasks and have no awareness of their own existence. AI continues to be an evolving field of research in understanding how we can simulate the human brain into computer systems and devices. Ray Coswell predicts that by 2045, we will have robots as smart as humans. This is called the point of singularity. What do you think? Do you think machines will defeat humans in the nearest future? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. A big shout out to everyone who supports content by liking, commenting, subscribing, and even sharing. Thank you. I appreciate you. To those watching for the first time, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.